Hi everyone, in this uh, quick video, I'm going to show you how dividend yield, capital gains, and stock returns are related to each other. And then I'm going to go over a numerical example in Excel in which I'll show you how you can calculate stock returns, dividend yield, and capital gains. So here is a very simple example to illustrate the point. Suppose you bought a stock for $74 per share. The stock then paid a dividend of $1.65 during the entire year and then had an ending price of $83. The question is, what was your total stock return, dividend yield, and capital gains? Now, conceptually, this is a rather simple exercise. All you got to do is say, well, here I am at time period zero where I'm buying the stock for $74 per share. During the entire year, the stock pays $1.65, so you get $1.65 right here. And at the end of the year, you also are able to sell the stock for $83. So if somebody asks you, what is the total return that you made? You might say, well, by the end of the year, I made $1.65. Sure, that was the dividend part. And then by investing $74, I got something that was worth $83. So I benefited by about $9, which is the difference between $83 and $74. And so this is the total dollar amount that you made on a $74 investment. And so if I break it down further, you can say that this is equal to 1.65 divided by 74 and the remainder $9 divided by 74. These are the two main components of your total return. So this is your total return. And what I'm saying to you is the total return can be thought of as the component that you got in the form of dividends. This part is known as the dividend yield. And the second part is the difference between the prices that you got, which is the difference between 83 and 74. This is known as the capital gains. So total return is always equal to the dividend yield part and the capital gains part. So all I'm going to do now is just show you how you could have done these calculations in Excel as well. So here is the information. You have a purchase price of $74 per share. You're given dividends of $1.65 for the entire year and then the ending price of $83. If somebody asks you what is the dividend yield, that is really just how much dividends you got as a percentage of the price that you initially paid for. So basically you got 2.23% of your return in the form of dividends. Capital gains is the other component, which is the difference between the prices, as I just showed you. So 83 minus 74 dollars. And I'm going to divide this part by the initial 74 right here as well. So let me format this. This is basically equal to 12.16 percent. And therefore, your total return is nothing but the sum of these two numbers. If you add these two numbers up, this is about 14.39 percent. This is the total return that you made from owning the stock. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.